Such a thanks. I think Wow kind of says it all. Yeah, Yagudin with that performance. But here is Yevgeny Plushenko, who has beaten Yagudin three out of three times this season in major competitions. Plushenko comes in having not lost all season long. He was 15 years of age when he burst onto the world scene, taking the bronze medal at his first world championship back in 98. He's looking for his first world gold now. Skating to Bolero and something else to consider. He's really one of the only men that has not had an injury this season. So his training has never been interrupted with an injury. He is in great shape. Opening combination, the quadruple toe loop, triple toe, great speed on both jumps. the memory of Nice last year's world championship when he blew up in the free skate did not make it to the podium he finished fourth steps going into this triple lutz getting through it easily Him take his leg and go up over his head. Coached by Alexei Mishin, who used to be the coach, of course, for Alexei Yagudin as well. Two former training partners who are not too friendly these days. You can just see the endurance that this man has at the end of his program. Not dropping off at all. <laughs> it's going to be so close. Plashenko went out there and performed all of his required elements. He might have edged Yagudin on the jumps, but I still like Yagudin's presentation better. But the short program, of course, is about the required elements a little bit more than it is about the artistry. Correct? That is true. So we'll wait to see what the judges do. Remember, Plashenko has the edge. He won his qualifying group. Yagudin did not. 